Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the eight string guitar and my particular approach to it. Um, things like tuning and uh, I don't know, choice of guitar, which you don't have many of. There are a few manufacturers. I play Ibanez. Um, this is the RG2228. Um, it's equipped with EMG 808 pickups, which um, I'm not normally a fan of active pickups, but uh, these are kind of good for extended range guitar because they, they're very evenly voiced. So um, your lower strings and higher strings don't have to fight each other. It seems to kind of produce an even output for, for uh, the full range. Um, as far as tuning, I um, don't play my guitar in the same tuning as uh, you know the way it comes stock. I drop my eighth string down a step to E. So I have um, three E strings, which might sound redundant, but it's actually pretty logical if you're coming from the you know the foundation of playing six string guitar. What you end up with is um, any six string rooted chord. Um, you have its fifth below the root directly above it, and then you have an octave below the root directly below that. So if you were to do like an A major power chord, you've got you know E in the bass there, and then you have A in the bass. So you know it's kind of heavy on the bar chords, but it doesn't mean you have to just stick to that. There's a lot of um, sort of intervallic chords you could build. For instance, like a like a big E minor 9 chord here. And you've got an open G. You can slide that up an octave. So you get these really wide uh, dispersed interval chords. Or even, you know, Or if you want to do like a stuff like that. So pretty much um, there's a wealth of chord voicings you can you can use in this particular tuning. I found it, you know, it broke up the monotony of uh, um, pretty much if I was to tune it in, in force like a normal guitar, I would have this repetition of uh, sort of scale fingerings. Um, which could be useful, but I, I find it a little bit more inspiring to have this uh, this sort of interval relationship, like the one five thing going on. So it forces me to it's kind of you know just different than the way the other strings are set up. So when I have to run a scale or something, it kind of puts my head in a different in a different space. So the way I have it tuned, you know, between my low E and B string, you know, if I bar, I get a fifth interval, which is, you know, kind of kind of cool because, you know, you, you have a different interval relationship than the rest of the strings, and you, you might come up with, like, different lines based on the fact that, you know, you're not always grabbing a major third if you go, you know, a, a half step below the root or whatever the case is. So um, there are eight string guitar players not many, but uh, Charlie Hunter is a good example of one who kind of chooses to emulate a bass guitar and you know a normal guitar, you know through through the same instrument. Um, my approach isn't exactly like that. I choose to just think of it as like you know a guitar with a lot of strings on it, essentially. But there are times you can kind of you know create bass lines. Stuff like that where, you know, you've got enough enough strings to kind of play multiple parts at, at one time and enough range to sound like, you know, two different instruments. Or, you know, um, sort of wider. I mean, you could go even further with emulating, emulating bass by um, doing percussive techniques, you know. Um, and, it, and that's kind of useful because, I, well, the tuning comes into play here where I have octaves that are directly on top of each other. You know, if I wanted to add a fifth. So, so that's uh, it's pretty useful um, just for thinking. You know, bass players are always, they're normally playing the root or they're outlining intervals in the chord. So to um, 
to kind of be set up in a way to, you know, play a chord and then achieve its octave below without moving positionally is, is very useful. When it comes to physically, you know, playing eight string guitar, um, I didn't have like a systematic approach to, to, you know, grappling the, 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 the girth of the neck or the fact that it's, you know, um, you know, a bit more substantial than a normal neck. It's kind of uh, easier for me because I've been playing seven string for, for you know, quite a few years. So it was almost like going from six string to seven string. My transition from seven string to eight string was relatively minor. But um, yeah, you, you will notice uh, that there's a bit of pain that comes with it. If you're doing a lot of these large bar chords, um, you know, that takes a bit of muscle development, especially if you're ho holding them at length. Um, so, you know, you have to be wary not to hurt yourself. And uh, if you are experiencing any any pain from repetitive action or repetitive motion, you know, you want to maybe uh, cut it out and uh, <laughs> just wait a little bit because you can injure yourself. Um, but for the most part, it's uh, these Ibanezes in particular, they feel like normal guitars. They feel just like a regular RG with, you know, a bit, a bit more going on. Um, so this guitar has a 28 and a half inch scale length on it, which is, you know, about three inches longer than your average six string guitar neck, which does create, you know, a wider spacing between the frets. Um, so that takes a little bit of getting used to. So when you bend, you know, you, you have to account for the fact that your, your scale is longer. So you might have to go a bit further or shorter to achieve, you know, intonation. Um, I don't bend very often, so it's, it's cool. But um, yeah, I think um, just with practice, it can just become as comfortable as any other, you know, six string instrument. Um, I choose to perceive it as not necessarily an unconventional guitar, but just, you know, a guitar with more strings. Like, it doesn't have to be this, uh, this alienating or like anomalous sort of uh, instrument. So um, if you're thinking about getting one, I definitely recommend just at least fooling around with it. You never know what it can inspire. But um, that's about it. I'm Tosin with jamplay.com.